Hey guys, I'm Kristen. Um, I have my face done. We're sculpted out, we're highlighted, we're still looking wearable, more natural, not like Instagrammy. So if you wanna find out how to do that, keep watching this video. I noticed that a lot of people don't want to learn how to contour because of like the crazy shit that they see. You'll see like the contour diagrams or people, you know, with all the different colors on their face before they blend out or some really extreme stuff to where it's just like, rah, like mud down the side, you know, of your face. So I wanted to do a video where I could show you contour, conceal, highlight, bronze up in like a really easy way without it being loud, like an everyday wear type look. So I've already got uh, my eyebrows done and my foundation on, that's it. First steps here are gonna be concealer. And the way that I apply it and the way that I blend it out, this all is a part of contouring because it shapes your face the more you have highlight. So we're gonna do it under the eye first. And I go straight down to my nose and just kind of do like an upside down triangle. So I take a wet beauty sponge and just blend it out. We have one side blended out. So once I have one side blended out, I like to go in and just lightly set it like really fast. And that's just because I don't want it to like set and get creasy. So I take just a tiny bit, little bit and tap it off of setting powder. And I just tap it in there. And that's just gonna set it into place. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side real fast. After I do under my eyes, I like to take a concealer that's a lot lighter and brighten up my forehead, my nose, and my chin, and then a little bit down the sides over here. And that is the highlight part of contour. Um, a little bit goes a long way. I'm using just a really light Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. I'm gonna blend those out first before I do the sides. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do it down the side, not on my jawbone, but a little bit up, if that makes sense. Blend that out the same. Then I go in and I set these lightly with setting powder also, so that they stay in place too. Contour is gonna look crazy as shit until you're finished. Uh, it doesn't <laughs> look nice throughout the process. It looks insane until you're done. Okay, I I'm not going to do a cream contour as far as bronzer goes in this video because that's really heavy and I wanted to do like a wearable video. So, I have two bronzers here. I'll show you the colors. See how one is darker and one is a lot warmer? So I take this dark one and I take a foundation brush, get it in there and I'm gonna stamp it in my cheek hollow, just boop, 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 like that, and get it blended in there real good. And then we're also gonna go up and around the forehead to the other side. And also, I go under my jawline and it kind of helps to like sculpt out your jawline and get rid of that shit right there. That, that shit. Just make sure you blend it out really well. You do not want a line. I do contour my nose. The way I do it is take a really fluffy brush, get into that bronzer and just lightly sweep down the sides right here. And you make sure that you're blending down with that and not up. And I put a little bit under here. It's kind of give me like a more button nose. 
double check all of our work here. So after I do that, and this is uh, strange, but I go in with setting spray a few times. So this is just the Bare Minerals Illuminizing Setting Spray. And this is my first round of spray. And I just do it to set in what I've done so far. And I like the way that powder leads over setting spray as well, if that makes any motherfucking sense. Now is where we bake. Um, that's a big part of, you know, contouring as well. I do not bake underneath my eyes. Um, it's way too heavy for me. So I'm taking a banana powder. That goes with my skin tone. I get it on a little brush and I'm gonna swipe down like away from my eyes. And that's just gonna set them in extra good without baking. I like to take this big giant sponge. I'm aware it's dirty. Um, I like the flat in. Dip that in the banana powder. And I go down the side of my jawline. Whoop. Right chop. Get some on my chin. Get some on my forehead. And then I take a small little sponge and kind of carve out my nose. So down the side. And like, this is all easy y'all. You just want to follow this, it's so simple. Down the middle. Make sure I got it in over there on the side. And then you let this sit to bake and how do I explain baking really quickly? So baking is kind of what it sounds like. You put these powders and your skin kind of heats up underneath them and it locks in what you've got going on. So it locks this powder in, um, in that bottom layer and then you're basically just gonna brush off the rest. But right now uh, you can do like your eyeshadow or your lips or whatever, um, but the beauty uh, filming is that I'm gonna let this sit and then I'm gonna come back. So we've let our bake sit and we're gonna brush it off just like this. Back and forth. Hey, hey, once my bake is done, my last step is to take that warmer bronzer and a bigger fluffy brush and I'm gonna kinda go light-handedly in a three motion here. Let me show ya. Very light-handedly. So it will be like whoop, whoop. I do not go all the way to the top of my forehead because I want that to stay bright. And this is to just warm you up, give you some color. After all of that powder and baking. So that's the contouring part. Then we go in and highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my blush because I can't really highlight until my blush is on. My NYX, uh, blah, 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 sweet cheeks. When I do my blush, I follow this contour line. So kind of up at an angle and stamp it on. Do not, don't brush it on because you can move product around on your face. And I like to take it and kind of like, a little on my nose, a little on my forehead, just to like, I don't know, give me some warmer color. Maybe a little heavy handed on the blush. <laughs> I like to set again with the setting spray at this point before I put my highlight on. I like to put my highlight on top of a fresh set face. The Spare Minerals Illuminizing Spray, I don't like it. It's leaving like dots around of like, I don't know, illumination. It's my very favorite highlighter right now. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Precious Petals. I take a highlighting brush, which is, it looks like an eye blending brush, but it's a lot bigger. Roll that around in there. And I go from my eye back on top of this cheekbone, right here. 
go up a little bit right here and right on top of the eyebrow. This is gonna be almost like a C shape again, where light would hit your face naturally right there and you just kind of make it glow. Glow. So then I like to get some on my finger and just boop right there on the tip of my nose and right here on the bridge and then some on my cupid's bow and then just kind of pulling that out that's it guys that is a contoured face and i mean you can kind of go in and add to it and, and take away from it um i'm gonna go in a little bit with just like a normal brush and just kind of Buff that out a little bit because I want a little bit heavy handed on the blush, but it, see, it's really easy to fix. If you feel like your highlighter is too boof, you can take a little bit of face powder and just kind of go over it. Um, it's called veiling and just kind of like tone it down. But that's it. Now your canvas is ready for like, I don't know, eyes and stuff. Or, you know, sometimes I do this and I just slap on like some clear gloss and some mascara and go about my day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you, bye.